one dad guy saying, Inception 4 was a great show. It really was. The WrestleMania of SWA, the anniversary show. So let's begin, shall we? At the start of the show, the Chase Coalition had to have a new man because Davy and Vane sort of walked out, and I don't know why. So uh, the mystery man was the re was Joey Sanchez's brother Tommy Gunn. So first time in two years. So it's great to see him back. Although he's working for Chase Coalition. So there you go. So that was... The big one of the big surprises of the of the night. There will be plenty more coming this way. Drew Parker defeated Chris Ridgway by pinfall. Great matchup, absolutely great matchup. And uh, we had referee Paul Win Stanley defeating Lord Graham Thomas with the most incredible second rope RKO ever. Yes, it's even better than Randy Orton's RKO from WrestleMania 31. See. See, I can do it. See, I see that was another four-star match, five-star even, unsanctioned as well. So that was a great, great match between Paul Winstanley and Lord Graham Thomas. Really, just whew, incredible. Bonus match: Pete Dunne defeated Robbie X by pinfall. Another one of those great matches. Pete Dunne is great as a heel. He really is. And Robbie X's first appearance in SWA. Saw him at Hope Wrestling a couple of saw him at Hope Wrestling back in October. He's also a great worker, he really is. Uh, Dan Maloney was supposed to take on Josh Shooter in a one on one match, but uh, that turned into a three way match with birthday boy Chuck Cyrus returning <laughs> to be a great. Oh god, this guy's great. I love. Oh god, this whole video could be about how great Chuck Cyrus is because he's so great on the mic. He is such an act, and I see why people like him. So do I. I. I think he's one of the best. He, he's one. He's a great worker. So Chuck, if you're watching this, there you go. Here's a thumbs up to you. Shame you didn't win on your birthday. Just that Dan Maloney had to pin you, didn't he? Yes. But Dan Maloney pinned Josh Shooter. But that means that you're undefeated still because you were not pinned. So that's a bit of a bonus. Then Dan Maloney comes on the mic and challenges um, Tyler Bate. Don't know if that will be at King of Duros. Hopefully it will be at King of Duros. Um, the Hunter Brothers defeated Davy and uh, Davy Richards and Mr. Anderson, who had <sighs> wow. I, I I can't put into words how great that match was. I mean, Anderson was great, Richards was great, Angelina was great. Oh, good grief! Oh, dear me, that was that was intense stuff. That was great. It was fabulous. It was comedy. There was a moment when he thought he had, uh, one of, I think it was Jim Hunter on the ropes, and he was actually he was attacking Davy Richards, and they both came to came to see him. He was like, "Yeah, you're actually hitting Davy Richards instead of uh, one of us." Yeah, great moment. Yes, great, great, great. Uh, I think you know, there's not one match here that will be below four stars. No, not at all. Uh, let's move on, and then that was that was the first time, first half interval, over and done with. I uh, had my photo taken with Mr. Anderson with me, mate Daniel, the Act Ben Chronicles. That was terrific. That was a great night. That one was. That was a great moment in the, in <laughs> from this guy who's been a wrestling fan for over ten years. That was probably one of the best moments, apart from, oh, apart from that time I almost got my head kicked in by Roy Knight from the Hooligans, and that was my own fault. But we won't go into Inception Three. Um, Yes, Chris Brooks defeated Will Ospreay by ankle lock. Both men showed sign of respect afterwards. That was that was one of the one of the good ones. I think Will Ospreay is not zero and two now, but then again, he'll be back as usual. He'll be back. He'll be back. And yes, uh, Tyler Bates defeated uh, Damian Dunn by two falls to one. Two out of three falls match for the British Lions Championship. Dunn got the first fall quite quickly, but then Tyler would come back and. Mr. Mustache, as you can tell from here. Yes, I'm, I did this mustache just for Tyler. So, yes. So, um, yeah, he won two straight falls and retained. We don't know whether or not Tyler's going to accept Dan Maloney's challenge, but then again, I think it's going to happen. <laughs> whenever it's going to happen anyway, so, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Nixon, you defeat... Uh, Nixon defeated Tony Storm. Now, this one... Oh, God. Um... Nixon suffered a very bad injury, and um, oh god, this was this was heartbreaking because I really, really thought this was going to be one of those ones when you think that could steal the show. And yeah, the accident, freak accident. It was a complete freak accident. Nobody saw it. And um, on behalf of me and 
practically everybody in the SWA faithful. Get well soon, Nixon. I hope you'll be back soon, kicking ass as usual, and hopefully giving, you know, Pete Dunn a, um, a Welsh destroyer just for all of us, because, you know, I think you really need a hit in one. So, with that out of the way, um, moving on. Uh, Team Chase Coalition defeated Team SWA in that Survivor Series style matchup with G John Chase pitting Simon Brown. But the big news, now that's not the shocker. The big shocker was that Joey Sanchez ended up kicking him in the face. Yes. Um, yes, Joey Sanchez betrayed SWA, Team SWA and letting them win. So, what does this mean? Joey Sanchez has rejoined his, has joined his brother, has joined Devecchio and Morgan with G. John Chase. So there's four now with him, yeah, being five. So, yeah, so what does this mean? Uh, yeah, it means that Joey Sanchez is now heel. I I can see, do you know what? There was there was a heel turn coming. There was a long time coming. And I mean, Daniel and I discussed this, but we think we both got the wrong man, really. Um... I think it was because Tyler was getting bigger cheers and so was Ryan than, than everybody else. But there was one highlight that I want to bring up. I think this is great. So Ryan's smile does a suicide dive nearly from the corner. Does a suicide dive onto, onto like, what was it? Devecchio Morgan, and I'm sure Tommy Gunn was there as well, but I can't, couldn't really see that well because my vantage point was not that great compared to what you know, the other... If I was on the other side, I might have seen it clearer, but... Whew. Wow, Ryan Smile was a, was on was literally was not literally on fire, but he was on fire before he got eliminated by before he got eliminated by Tommy Gunn quite early as well. Uh, so yeah, so uh, yeah, overall um, ten again as usual. King of Juros is next up in wow, less than four weeks from now. So there you go. That will be the first ever weekender. Yeah, that means to say it'll be on a Saturday night and a Sunday as well. So that would be epic in itself. Hopefully I'll have some footage in there as well. So until then, this is Dark Guest signing off. And once again, get well soon, Nixon Newell. You're one of the best in the UK. And until then, I will see you next time.